welcome students a very happy morning to all today we are going to discuss about another new topic in your ninth class biology that is plastids it is one of the important cell organelle and it is present only in plants not in animals okay plastids whenever you heard the word plastids then you have to remember plants it is one of the cell organelle present only in plants not in animals okay if we talk about uh, plastids the size means uh, the measurement of the plastids is it just varies from one organism to another organism means uh, from one variety of plants to another variety of plants in higher animals the measurements of means the size of plastids it may vary from 4 to 10 microns if we observe under electron microscope by taking a rio leaf if you want to observe the plastids then we have to take a, a rio leaf for our observation okay then these plastids generally these are generally a exist in different shapes what are the different shapes uh, from one organism to another organism from one plant to another plant the shape of the plastids it just varies okay if we talk about the shape generally these are present in spherical shape spherical shape in some plants it may also present in bo ovule shape and disk shaped okay either they are present in the round oval or disk like shapes in some uh, organisms like uh, spirogyra and some other uh, aquatic plants it just varies shapes like a star shape ladder shape and reticular in form it just appears like a reticule like a network reticular in shape okay like that the size and shape of plastids it just varies from one plant to another plant one variety of plant to another variety of plant if we go to the next point of plastids what is the main function of plastids okay if we talk about the function it is very important to know about function of uh, plastids they mainly involved in the function of adding color to the cell actually most of the cells in plants and any type of organisms they are transparent but some cells they uh, they may carry some colors because of the presence of plastids what is the main function okay what is the main function of plastids the main function of plastids is to add color to the cell okay the plastids they are very helpful to add colors to the cell okay if we talk about um, some more details about plastids the plastids they itself carries their own dna and also ribosomes as like mitochondria they are capable to contain dna and ribosomes okay and depending on the function depending on the function done by the plastids plastids are of uh, three types what are that what color they are giving to the cell depending on that and depending on the function we people divided the plastids into three types what are that chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast the three types of plastids are chloroplast leucoplast and chromoplast if we talk about chloroplast chloroplast by hearing the word chloroplast you may think that uh, it is one of the uh, plastid very commonly present in all varieties of green plants and it is very useful to give green color to the cell okay chloroplast they always give green color whenever you heard the word chloroplast then you have to remember green color it gives green color to the plant and this chloroplast itself contain a pigment called as chlorophyll this chlorophyll which is called as a pigment it adds color to the plants that is green color 
and the process of photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast okay where does the photosynthesis occurs inside the leaf inside the chloroplast okay and here if you observe this picture this picture is indicating the structure of chloroplast here if you observe the uh, inter uh, space of the organelle is filled with a fluid that fluid is called as stroma and stack like some bunches like disc like shapes or arranged uh, pile up in one manner like a bunch that is called as grana and each one each sac like structure is called as uh, thylakoid and those thylakoids are arranged in a um, bag like structure uh, on one another that full form is called as that uh, this part is called as grana okay stroma grana in detail we will discuss about this chloroplast in your 10th class okay if we talk about chromoplast chromoplast chloroplast is giving green color chromoplast it gives not only the green color different colors it may add different colors if you see a tomato plant uh, whenever the tomatoes are uh, um, forming to the plant whenever they are arising to the plant they appears in the green color means they contain chloroplast and whenever they ripen they mature the tomatoes color may change because of this chromoplast okay chromoplast able to give able to add different colors to the plants flowers fruits okay sometimes we may see to the croton plants the leaves may appear in different colors that is also because of chromoplast how the chromoplast gives different colors to the plants flowers and leaves this is because of the transformation of a chloroplast and leucoplast these two together transform to produce different colors to the chromoplast okay i think you understand about uh, chloroplast and chromoplast chloroplast is giving green color and chromoplast is giving different varieties of colors to the plants whenever we talk about this leucoplast these are also called as colorless plastids or white plastids okay these are colorless but we already discussed about plastids the main function of plastids is to add color but here leucoplast is not adding any color then what is the function of leucoplast yes the leucoplast it involves in another function what is that that is storing leucoplast are able to store certain materials what are that if you see here you may observe they are able to store starch oil and protein globules what they are storing inside the plant they are able to store starch oil and sometimes they also capable to store protein granules okay mm, if we talk about uh, chromoplast they are giving different colors to the plant by transformation of chlo chloroplast and leucoplast okay chloroplast and leucoplast these two transforms to form chromoplast and what is the main function of chloroplast it is the main plastids present in the plant uh, which is very essential to the plant in order to perform a process called as photosynthesis if there is no chloroplast then there is no chlorophyll if there is no chloroplast then the plant is unable to trap the sunlight here the plastids uh, which is also called as a chloroplast what is the main function of it it is able to trap sunlight and it is able to transform that light energy into chemical energy by the help of this chloroplast the plants able to perform the process of photosynthesis okay do you understand about the plastids plastids are of three types what are that chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast chloroplast it gives green color leucoplast or colorless plastids chromoplast the chromoplast give different colors to the 
plants and to the leaves flowers and fruits okay this is about plastids and i will meet you in the next class with new topic